Today we are looking at a completely rebuilt Crippen EP44B bean polisher. We completely rebuilt this unit from the ground up. We replaced all of the wear components. We put brand new bearings into this unit and brand new polishing brushes. We are now stocking brand new brushes for these polishers. You can get your brushes from us here at CTI. In this video we are going to discuss all of this unit's features. We are going to talk about how it is used in the field and we are going to run it so you can see how smooth it all works. This unit is equipped with a polishing concave bypass. Simply loosening this wing nut and pulling out on this lever allows you to bypass the polishing concave and use this unit solely as an aspirator for all of your light chaff. This unit is equipped with a roll feed hopper. The roll behind this feed gate evenly disperses the product into the polishing chamber. It is disengaged here. Say at the end of the day you want to let the unit clean out, you would disengage the roll feed hopper and the product that is left in the bin will not be trickling down into the machine after it is shut off. Another nice feature that these bean polishers have are the two cranks that control the flow on the roll feed hopper. These are used when cleaning the machine out thoroughly, changing lots, or switching to a different product. You would close the top gate. That stops the flow of the grain before it hits the feed roll. And then you would fully open the bottom gate if you were wanting to thoroughly clean out the machine. The airflow of this unit is controlled by this crank here. Turning it either way will open or close the air gate inside of the fan here. In addition to the airflow adjustment on the fan, there are two additional airflow adjustments on this machine. The first is located on the top. You can see me moving the flap open and closed here. The second is located on the bottom. You loosen this wing nut and you can move the flap up and down. This allows you to really fine tune and adjust the airflow based on your product's needs. With the power disconnected, and the safety shield removed, we can access the drive side of the unit. On either side of the unit are these small openings. These are used to adjust the distance of the brush from the concave. To do that, you first have to line up that adjustment bolt with this opening and then use the included tool to get onto that bolt and turn it one way or the other to bring the brush closer farther away from the rubberized concave. You can see we have it labeled here to move brushes closer to concave you turn the wrench counterclockwise. On the other side it is reversed so you would turn the wrench clockwise. We are going to fire the unit up for you now so you can see how well it runs. It runs very smooth, very quiet, there are no irregular noises. As I said before, we rebuilt this unit from the ground up and replaced all of the wear components. This unit is ready to run for a long time.